The Sony PlayStation 2 can be a tricky system to emulate properly, even more so than with the PS1. Setup is more complex than with classic 8 and 16-bit consoles, and the emulation itself is much more demanding on your device's hardware. If you're looking to play PS2 games on RetroArch fully upscaled to 4K, then you'll need a decent specification PC with a good graphics card. But don't let that put you off, good performance can be achieved with modest setups too. Before we begin, here's a few things that we'll need. Download and install RetroArch. Have at least one PS2 game disk image ready to use. Have the relevant PS2 BIOS files depending on which region games you wish to play ready. And to play games, of course, you'll need a controller. You could use keyboard, but make life easier on yourself and grab a decent controller. I use the 8-bit Doe Pro 2 controller, which is a fantastic multi-purpose controller which works really well across a number of emulation cores. I'll stick a link in the description for you to check out. The first step is to download the PCSX2 emulator. This is necessary so the PS2 emulator core can function properly by using some of the assets from the actual PCSX2 standalone emulator. So what we'll need to do is copy these files across to the RetroArch system folder to make sure the core functions correctly. So to do this, download the portable version of PCSX2 from the PCSX2 website, then extract all of the files from the download archive into its own folder. Next, create a folder called PCSX2 in your RetroArch system folder. This can be found in your RetroArch installation directory. Go back to the folder where you extracted the portable version of PCSX2 a moment ago and run the PCSX2 application and go through a few initial setup steps. This will then create a bunch of folders in the PCSX2 portable installation directory that we'll need. Next, select all of the files in the PCSX2 directory and then copy them to the RetroArch system PCSX2 folder you just created. So the RetroArch PS2 core we're going to use in RetroArch requires the use of a PS2 BIOS file so it can boot up games. The RetroArch documentation for the PCSX2 core, now is actually known as LRPS2, provides details on the BIOS files required. Check out the link here. If you do not have the BIOS files yet, you'll need to search online for PS2 SCPH BIOS. You'll then need to find a site to download the PS2 BIOS files from. You can choose either from Japanese, European or USA BIOS files, but other regional BIOS files are available too. Once you've got your desired region PS2 BIOS, you'll then need to copy it to your RetroArch System PCSX2 BIOS folder. The next step is to download the LRPS2 core in RetroArch. This was previously known as the PCSX2 core. So once you have RetroArch open, select Load Core, You'll then need to select Downloader Core. Next, scroll down the Core Downloader menu until you get to Sony PlayStation 2 LRPS2. Select this and the core will begin to download and install automatically. Once the core has downloaded and installed, we're going to set up our controller. So next we're going to check any controller you've got plugged in or connected to your device is set up and ready for use with LRPS2. To access the control settings, go to the main menu in RetroArch and click on Settings, then Input, and then Port 1 Controls. Here you should see your controller listed in the Device Index section. You'll see here I'm using an 8-bit Doe Pro 2, which RetroArch automatically configures. If your controller does not automatically get configured, you can map the controls in this section as required. And that's it, we're ready to choose a game to play. So go back to the main menu in RetroArch and select Load Content. Then navigate to where you have your PS2 game stored, select the disk image you wish to load. Your emulated PS2 will now kick into life and the game will boot. Depending upon the BIOS you choose, and if you have not gone through this already, the PS2 BIOS may ask you to set the console region and time. If it does, just select the settings you wish to apply and proceed with the game and it will boot. And that is the simplest way to currently play PS2 games with RetroArch and the LRPS2 core. One more useful feature we'll check out before we finish is the ability to upscale the resolution. If you have a well-equipped system with a powerful GPU, then you should be able to upscale your PS2 games all the way to 5K if required. 
So to do this, whilst you're in the game, go to the RetroArch menu by pressing F1 or the button you have assigned to go back to this menu. Next, go to Options, then Video. Here you'll find a full range of video related options for LRPS2. So to upscale the resolution of your PS2 games, select Internal Resolution and choose the resolution best suited to your display. Experiment with these settings to see what works best for your device, as performance will vary from game to game, as well as how powerful your system is. Thanks for watching this guide. Be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with our latest videos. Be sure to also check out howtoretro.com for much more retro related content. See you next time.